Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle and the Mighty Minitropolis of Marnia, Iowa. Today we are in the Royal Enfield room because we are going to take another look at this. The Hot Rod Royal Enfield Interceptor Bear 650. Look at this thing. We had a rainy day outside so we can't ride it. We did ride it yesterday and I had a video about that. And uh, boy what a ride this thing was. But just look at this detail. We're going to look this whole thing over. The fit and finish on this is next level again. Every year, Royal Enfield, the finishes get better. You know, the details get uh, smoother and finer and, you know, LED turn signals, LED headlight. It's got the uh, TFT gauge now right there. Turn that on for you. It's got the new style grips, the adjustable levers with the little dog leg in there like that. Look at this, the badge right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Upside down forks, white fender on the front. Here's the headlight right there. Jumping up here. The this dash. has got the dash. You can toggle between different things. You can hook it to your phone. You can get navigation on there and all kinds of different stuff. You can also choose the, uh, this is the digital dash. You can also choose an analog looking dash. Very nice. But look at this paint through here. Isn't that just gorgeous? Blue seat. Absolutely amazing blue seat with white piping. Check that out. Just gorgeous. Royal infield and white on the back here. The round tail light on the back. Brake light. Blinkers. All LED now. These tires are specially made just for the bear. They've got these new Showa shocks that are uh, longer. I think it's uh, 115 millimeters on the back now. That's about four and a half inches. They increased the brake size on the rear to 270 millimeters. Absolutely fabulous brakes on this bike. That was one of the things when I rode it yesterday. The brakes were just phenomenal. The front disc brake has been changed to a uh, fixed disc. It used to be a floating disc. Now it's a fixed disc. It's supposed to be a different metal. It's supposed to be grabbier, so a little better brake on there. And then dual piston vibrator caliper. Just look at that. There's got a there's a texture. When you get here, run your hand on these uh, fork tubes. They're just absolutely amazing. Nice, nice little texture to it. Fork brace right there. Here's the pipe. It's a two into one pipe now. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Heat shield up front. Heat shield back here. The rumble is awesome. Very good sounding bike now. So this is kind of interesting too. They move the foot pegs forward and down a little bit. And they've got this neat little guard here. This is cast metal. These are the same foot pegs that are on the brand new Himalayan. You can remove these rubbers if you want. Same brake lever as the new Himalayan. And if you come around to this side, it's got the same shift lever as the new Himalayan. And uh, these foot pegs, one of the reasons they moved them forward and down is because the bike is made to be stood up on now. You know, it's a scrambler and they expect people to be doing that. Ground clearance has increased on this one. It's uh, 7.6 inches. I think it's 187 millimeters now. Wheelbase was jacked up about two and a half inches. I think it's 57 and a half inches, about 1,460 millimeters. The rear tire is now a 17 instead of an 18. It's got spokes, aluminum rims, whole new rear end. This jacks up like this. Metal grab bar on the back end. Shorty yellow fender. So yellow fender in the back. Yellow side cover, yellow tank right here, turns to white, and then white fender in the front. Isn't that neat? Just lots of little detail here. The engine has been tuned differently. It's got a little more torque, and that's one thing I really noticed when I rode it. It had a lot more low-end torque, a lot more low-end punch. And I was looking at this. This is a different case cover from all the other bikes I've seen, all the other 650s. So that is another change in the bike. It's an all blacked out engine, except for the cylinder right here, which is silver. Isn't that neat? I love the way the pipes look, you know, the crossover here. The engine is uh, 648 cc, parallel twin. It's got the uh, overhead cam, single overhead cam, four valves for cylinder. It's air cooled and oil cooled. Look at that all down there. Extra long fender now right here. They've just done a lot of good work with this thing. I can't wait to get my hands on one of these to ride. We'll have to do that pretty soon, I hope. We're hoping to get more in this week. But just look at that thing. The swing arm has been stretched a little bit. I'm not sure how much. I don't know if that's where they added the whole extra two and a half inches or... So they've got a little bit longer swing arm, a little bit longer shocks up here, upside down forked on the front. They've got more travel on the front suspension here. It's 130 millimeters. I think that's 5.1 inches. The bigger tire now, it's a 19 inch instead of a 18. I was looking at this too the other day. And I noticed this handle on the side. So what's that for, huh? Well, that's for when you put the bike on the center stand, right? Well, this bike does not have a center stand, so it's it's kind of a vestigial part. You know, it's kind of like an appendix or something. It's there. It's from the past, but uh, you know, it's no longer it's no longer needed at this time. Can you put a center stand on this if you wanted to? We we're looking at that, and uh, you know, it's got this catalytic converter that goes all the way back. 
And we were thinking, you know, if you could put a different pipe on there, get rid of the catalytic converter, you might be able to do that. And that's one thing Baxter Cycle will find out. We'll uh, we'll check into that. The other question was, could you take the uh, existing pipes that are made for the interceptor and put them on this bike? And again, this is the first bike we've gotten in, so we haven't been able to try that. But Baxter Cycle will try that soon, and uh, we'll have an answer for you all on that too. And the minute aftermarket pipes come up for one of these, we will get some and put, put it on there. Just a beautiful rear end, isn't it? Look at the thing. Nice chunky tire on the back. An absolutely fun motorcycle to ride too. Check out this up here. It says Showa right there. Chrome bar. They've got a pad you can get for this here. I already talked about the uh, new clutch lever and brake lever, the new grips. You know, this is nice metal parts right here. So information button back here. Pass to flash, low beam, high beam. Blinker right here, horn right there. This right here is the joystick that you use to operate this little doodad here. And then I think this also works as a uh, back button. Then coming over here to this side, it's a kill switch, a run switch, and then you rock that over, let me turn the key off. You rock that over like that, and then it becomes a start switch, hazard light right there. And this is a mode button, and that allows you to turn on or off traction control on the rear tire. You know, so one button to do that. Very nice, very nice. I'm absolutely in love with this motorcycle. I can't wait to uh, get one of my own someday soon. And uh, we will take that thing and put a whole mess of miles on it. Should be a lot of fun. If y'all are interested in a motorcycle like this and you're gonna use Royal Enfield Triumph Classic British Bike of any type, parts, accessories, look at all these parts here just for y'all. <laughs> Gear, coats, jackets, Royal Enfield jackets over yonder, shirts, gloves, Anything you can imagine, get yourself over to Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa, or go to BaxterCycle.com. By the way, they ship bikes to most places. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, hit like and subscribe if you would. It's, uh, well, it's, it's not a beautiful day. It's actually dark out, but tomorrow's going to be a good day, and I'm going to go motorcycle riding. If you all can do the same thing, please get out there and ride, my friends. Life is good. Wahoo! get used to it is pretty pretty you go. Nice. If you go into a parking lot and do that, people look at you like, what the hell?